Hello, my name is Hint. I'm 10th grade. I'm from Yemen. Hi, my name is Batua Arasi. I'm 12th grade. I'm from Yemen. Hi, my name is Esma. I'm in 10th grade and I'm from Yemen. Hello, my name is Albara. I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm 10th grade. Hello, Vax. My name is Walid. I'm a sophomore and I'm from Yemen. Hi, I am. My name is Iman. I am from Yemen. I am grade 12. Hello, my name is Kenaz Al Sharif. I'm in 10th grade. I'm from Yemen. What's up, Vikes? Today we're going to be talking about what Ramadan is and more information about Ramadan. My name is Serena Med. I'm from Yemen. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It begins and ends in the appearance of the crescent, crescent moon. Ramadan is the month in which Muslims believe the Quran began to be revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. It's the holy month of worship, study of the Quran, prayer, and fasting. يجب أن نعيشها بكل تفاصيلها لمدة ثلاثين يوم من الصيام والصلاة وتلاوة القرآن ولا أنكر الهموم والمعاناة التي قد تؤثر على أجواء رمضان لكن يبقى رمضان بالنسبة لنا شهر مميزا عن باقي الشهور In the name of Allah, Ramadan is coming soon so I have to say to everyone Ramadan Mubarak As you know that Muslims have to pray five times a day That's true But in Ramadan there is more Print. It's called Taraweeh. وهي قيام شهر رمضان. وتصلى ليلا في رمضان. بعد صلاة العشاء. فصلاة التراويح سنة نبوية في أصلا ينبغي على المسلم أن يحافظ عليها. عدد ركعاتها 11 ركعة. ولصلاة التراويح الكثير من الفضائل منها سبب المغفرة الذنوب. فهي ليست واجبة على النساء ولا على الرجال. وإنما هي سنة لها فضلها ومنزلتها عند الله. وفي آخر عشرة أيام من رمضان تقام صلاة التراويح. يصليها المسلمون في المسجد في الساعة الثانية ليلا فضل لها فضل كبير عند الله وكذلك يوجد ليلة تسمى ليلة القدر إنها مباركة عند الله هناك العديد من الأطعمة الخاصة التي نتناولها عادة في رمضان أهم ما فيهن ساعة الإفطار التي تتفق عليها جميع الدول وجميع الثقافات وهي السمبوسة الفنتو والشفوت فهي سنة لنبينا محمد بعد ذلك تختلف الجداول حسب الدول المختلفة في اليمن هناك العديد من الطقوس المختلفة ومنها أكل الشربة والشفوت ولرمضان نكهة مختلفة عن باقي الأشهر وخصوصا تلك المائدة الرمضانية التي تجتمع الأهل والأحباب فيها جو جميل ومميز حولها فهي ما زالت من أهم طقوس التآلف والمحبة والتي تجمع العائلة كبيرهم وصغيرهم وتؤلف بينهم الحب والمودة السلام عليكم رمضان كريم شكرا لكل المدرسين اللي اعطانا الفرصة للتحدث عن رمضان أتمنى من المدرسين أن يعطونا وقتا إيضاء الصلاة في وقتها يرجى من جميع عدم فتح الأغاني ونحن في الحضور هذا قد يجرح صيامنا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم صوموا تصحوا الله أعطانا رمضان علشان نحس بالفقراء والمساكين فلذلك يجب علينا في رمضان أعطاء الكثير من المال والزكاة لجميع الفقراء During the month of Ramadan we may not be able to perform our best abilities It will be difficult because of fasting however we will try our hardest How would I like non-Muslims to understand about Ramadan? Muslims are fasting are allowed to eat and drink after sunset until sunrise but not during the daytime, not even a sip of water there have been people that thought Muslims fast for a whole month without eating or drinking. I'm sure that's not physically possible. That doesn't mean followers of Islam expect non-Muslims to refrain from eating during the day. They expect to see others eating and drinking without apology. 
Non-Muslims should know that fasting from food and water isn't the main, main point of Ramadan. It's one of the five pillars of Islam, which is profession of faith, praying, alms, which means money or food given to people, fasting and pilgrimage. One of Ramadan's main points is to teach people that whether you're rich or poor, this experience teaches you empathy, compassion and patience, and encourages you to help others who are less fortunate. Eid al-Fatr marks the end of Ramadan, the Muslim holy month of fasting, and is celebrated during the first three days of Shawwal, the tenth month of Islamic of the Islamic calendar. Muslim fa Muslim family and friends gather to show gratitude toward God, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, following the previous month of reflection. Eid serves a great reminder for Muslims to be grateful for what they have and to share for those who may be less fortunate. How do we celebrate Eid? How do we celebrate Eid? Eid al-Fatr features two to three days of celebration that includes morning prayers. People greet each other with Eid Mubarak, which means blessed Eid. We dress in new clothing. Women do henna on their hands, but men use henna as a dye for their hair. And most, mostly their beards. Sweet dishes are prepared at home with gifts and money. It is just three days where you spend time with family members and give to others. Eid al-Duha is the other Eid, which is the Great Eid, which follows the competition of the annual Hajj. The day of Eid al-Duha falls on the 10th day in the final month of the Islamic calendar. During the festival, families that can afford to sacrifice a richly acceptable animal like sheep, goat, or cow, and then divide the flesh equally among themselves, the poor, and friends, and neighbors. Eid al-Duha is also a time for visiting with friends and family and for exchanging gifts. How Arab names are important. Most Arabic names have meaning as ordinary adjectives and nouns and are often aspirational of character. For example, my name is Al Walid, but I go with Walid for short, and it means the newborn child. There have been many times when there's a substitute or when I'm talking to someone new, they mispronounce my name, saying like Al Walid, Al Weed, and other mispronunciations. And most people with Arab names feel like they are being ignored. I know it's not their fault, but I want to let people know. Um, although it may not sound as important, like for your name to be mispronounced, but in our uh, country or like religion, there's many different ways to pronounce names and so like if you say a specific Arabic name and like in a different way also means the other way, like has completely different meanings, which is best to like ask how to say the name and if not try like to get any type of help, I guess, to, say, to pronounce it. Ramadan Mubarak, go, go bikes! bikes.